Hey there, and welcome to Draw Anything and Everything. I'm your artist, Vicky Malarkey. You know, I love watching people draw. Every single time I see someone draw, even if they're not very confident at it, they're always smiling and they're always happy. And that's the real magic about art. You can create anything you want and you can love it, even if it's not something you do all the time. All you need to do to make a really great picture is to have something to draw on, something to draw with, and a lot of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. So today we're going to do something different. Instead of turning to the imagination box for our ideas, I have three ideas that were given to me by some of my young friends. And they said, Mickey, it would be great if you could draw these on the show. So here we go. These are the ideas. Idea number one, gymnastics. Now, I never had the athletic skill for gymnastics, but I could still appreciate it. The second idea is a samurai. A samurai is like a traditional Japanese warrior. There's a lot that we can do with this one. And the third and final idea is one of my favorites, chocolate milk. So how are we gonna put these three things together? Well, there's only one way to find out. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get drawing. All right, so for today, by special request, we have gymnastics, a samurai, which is a Japanese warrior, and chocolate milk. Let's put all these three things together. Why don't we? I think I will start with our samurai friend in the middle. And if you've never seen a samurai, they wear very cool armor. So I think I'm gonna start by drawing the samurai's helmet. And uh, it looks kind of like this. It has these horns up in front and this kind of thatch on the side and the same thing here on the other side. So we have the start of our samurai's helmet and I'm gonna do the outline of the face, but I'm not gonna do the full face yet. We're gonna come back to that in just a little bit. Now a samurai, like I mentioned, is a warrior. So they also wear a lot of armor. So I'm gonna draw some samurai armor. And you know, I've never really drawn a samurai before. So um, if this isn't completely historically accurate, I hope you will forgive me. But I think that we can do a good enough job to really get a sense of what this warrior might look like in this context of this picture. So I'm gonna draw with a fist up in the air. All right, there's our warrior. And uh, we'll do the other fist down here, uh, or hand down here where we'll give him some more armor. And, uh, and another fist here, there we go. And uh, they usually have some armor up in front as well. All right, they're fully armored up. So let's draw some armor here as well. And then they sometimes have uh, above their pants some more armor. <laughs> We're drawing a lot of armor today, but that's okay. Our samurai friend, uh, we wanna make sure that they're nice and protected from their uh, gymnastics experience that they're about to have. And uh, I'm gonna have our samurai, how do you feel about uh, maybe having them leaping through the air as gymnasts sometimes do? So I'm gonna draw a leg moving back like this with again some more armor because we have to have lots of armor and then another leg coming up like this with some more armor the last piece i think and there's the leg as our samurai is kind of leaping through the air now there's many different kinds of gymnastics um but the thing i think would be good for our samurai warrior today is something called rhythmic gymnastics so this is where you perform and you have a large ribbon. And this ribbon, uh, you twirl it around in the air as you dance. And uh, it makes a very, very beautiful display. It, uh, it's, I'm sure it's much harder than it looks. Um, and to be able to do it with grace and skill is just incredible for people who can do it. Um, so let me give a little bit of detail on this armor of our rhythmic gymnastics samurai friend. There we go. Some detail on the armor. And uh, we can do just a little bit of detail here so that we have it. Now for the samurai's face, I love drawing people and I love drawing faces. Uh, but something that's important to remember, especially when you're cartooning like I do, we typically tend to exaggerate features. 
But when we're drawing people, we want to make sure that we do it in a respectful way. Because at the end of the day, we want everybody to enjoy our art. So I'm going to draw in this case a nice, smiling samurai warrior um, who's really enjoying um, who's really enjoying this uh, experience uh, performing their rhythmic, rhythmic gymnastics routine. Um, and you know, they're probably, in addition to leaping through the air, they're, uh, they're dancing and there's some nice loud music playing uh, a special song that they can dance along to. Well, we have our Samurai Warrior, we have our rhythmic gymnastics uh, beginning. So next we need our chocolate milk. Where should we put our chocolate milk? How will it fit into this picture? Well, I'm gonna draw a glass here. And I'm gonna make it fairly large. And we'll, we'll give this glass a little bit of a straw too. So there's our glass. And I'm gonna give it two eyes, kind of watching our rhythmic gymnastics samurai dancer. Um, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna draw another one. I'm gonna draw another one right over here. And the same kind of thing, a straw sticking out uh, for our chocolate milk friend. There it is, and this one's also watching. And then I think I'll do, I'll do one more, right over here. Let's have quite a lot of chocolate milk in our, in our picture today, because chocolate milk is so delicious. It's uh, definitely my favorite kind of milk. Probably the way milk is meant to be, to be honest. So, uh, so this person is also watching our gymnastics uh, samurai. And uh, maybe, uh, what, what should they be doing? It has to be more than just watching. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them all scorecards. So these chocolate milks are the ones who are rating our gymnastic uh, performance here. So this one is holding up this one here. Uh, and uh, let's say this one is really impressed. 9.7, there we go. And this one here will be holding up a sign. Uh, and let's say this one is, let's, uh, let me finish the hands first. Let's say that this one is also very impressed, but maybe not as much. So 8.8, .8, all right? And this last one here is also holding up a sign. What do you think? What should this, uh, what should this person uh, this chocolate milk person feel about the gymnastics performance. Let's say that this is the one that's uh, the hard to please chocolate milk. And so uh, so they're giving a, I don't know, a 6.5, right? This is the one, there's always usually one judge who's a little bit crusty. Um, and in this case, that'll be our third judge there. So this goes across, which is the mat that the samurai is uh, doing the routine on. And we'll make sure that we have the liquid in here for the chocolate milk. All right, there they are, there it is, there it is, our chocolate milk judges. And uh, I think we've got the start of a pretty good picture. So now let's turn to our color and uh, and bring it to life. So for the armor, I think I'm gonna use a nice burgundy. You can never go wrong with a nice burgundy um, to, uh, to start. I'm a big fan of reds in general. It's always been one of my favorite colors. Um, and so any opportunity I have to use red uh, I will obviously take advantage of. So there is the armor start. And then uh, let's add some brown, all right? Usually the red and brown, give it that uh, that, that uh, classic samurai look, or at least what I think it looks like. I've only ever really seen a samurai in movies, so I don't, uh, I don't know for sure if this is exactly how it looks like in real life, but it doesn't matter because with art, you can do anything you want. I'm gonna color the helmet a nice gray. Uh, oh, I forgot to do this shoulder here. So I'll do that one as well. And then uh, for the samurai, I'll give them this color hands. We'll do the face in this color as well. And now you can see there, the samurai is already coming to life. That's how easy it is. Uh, you don't have to work too hard to bring your pictures to life. Uh, when you're uh, when you're drawing, it just needs a little bit of color. And there's our samurai. Now let's turn to our milk. So our chocolate milk friend. Here we go. There's their chocolate milk. Maybe we'll get a couple of drops just pouring out of that straw there. Our other chocolate milk friend here. Same kind of thing. Give it some brown. And our our grumpy chocolate milk judge. Six point five. I think it's better than a six point five. I don't know. I don't know uh, why this uh, chocolate milk is unimpressed. 
but uh, I think it's better than that. For the ribbon, how about uh, how about a nice teal, tealish, bluish green sea color? Um, you know, we can make the ribbon pink, but I feel like with the burgundy, we want to have a bit more, a bit more mix up with the uh, uh, with the color. So there we go, there we go, and there we go. We have our ribbon there, and uh, just to finish it off, maybe let's uh, let's give the floor a nice, nice bright orange color. Look at this fun gymnastics performance. I, you know what? I'm not happy about this person. They should have scored higher, right? Our samurai is doing a great job, and it's especially hard jumping around in that armor. Um, but there you go. That's uh, that's pretty much uh, as easy as it gets to put a samurai gymnastics and chocolate milk together. And if you want to do people in the crowd, you know, uh, you don't necessarily have to draw a bunch of people. Sometimes you can just draw shapes. And those shapes kind of give it the feel as though there's a crowd, right? So like, there's like a whole bunch of people here um, and they're all watching and uh, some of them are applauding and maybe even some are taking pictures, right? So if you want to do pictures, you just kind of do like a start and then it makes it look like uh, like a flash camera or a cell phone has gone off. So let's let's give those let's give those those flashes some yellow just to uh, just to show what they are. And uh, you know, just to show that it's dark in this background. This is, you know, a well-lit auditorium or, um, or gymnasium where this is taking place. We're just gonna give it some dark color. Um, and that's really demonstrating that there is a large audience here enjoying this gymnastics performance. So what do you think? I think it's not bad. And I definitely think it's better than what this chocolate milk thinks. Thanks for joining me with this fun adventure. Well, friends, we did it. We took those three ideas and we put together an incredible picture. Take a look at this. What do you think? We're the Olympics, no? I love that you're drawing along with me and I love that you're thinking up of ideas that we can draw together. Keep her up and I'll see you again next time. Take care.